welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to be showing off 24W18A. And uh, if I sound a little different, well, uh, I had to do this in post-production because I updated my microphone and none of my audio got picked up. Without further ado, let's investigate what's changed in this snapshot besides, well, new panorama, which means this update's getting close. They have finally merged the vanilla and experimental branches in Minecraft, which means they plan to release 121 for the next update rather than releasing something like 120.7. And you can see a giant change log, a lot of data pack features, and then some vanilla features. Not very many of them, but it's the new music and 20 new paintings, which is a lot. And they've also fixed a lot of outstanding bugs. However, there's been something on the change log that has not been mentioned. Part of the mace nerf from Bedrock Edition has been moved from Java. Its attack damage is now 6 instead of 7. It now attacks at once every 2 seconds rather than 1.6 times per second, which means it's no longer a diamond sword copy. Along with that, its durability has been doubled. It now has 500 instead of 250. You're not going to chew through heavy cores constantly with this, as if you're not putting on breaking on it, but that's a whole nother deal. And it's not going to one-shot everything anymore. Of course, if you fall from a height like this, yeah, it's still going to obliterate things. It's going to give you over-over kill. But notice I still had to do a bit of preparation. Something like this in the last snapshot would have been completely fatal to the Iron Golem. Now, it only deals a little bit more than half its health, which is a big nerf. No longer are you obliterating wardens with this. Instead, you're going to have to use a ton of wolves with wolf armor for that one. But in this case, the mace is no longer a kill-all tool. You're not going to obliterate everything with it anymore because it has damage fall off. Eventually, it's going to gain less and less damage until it's not very viable. And like that, you can see, it's been nerfed a lot and it's balanced. And here is the other thing, the thing you're probably watching this for. Look, a bunch of new paintings. You can see, all these paintings are quite unique. We have two artists now, Christopher Zetterstrand, who made the original paintings and has returned to submit some more in-game, and then Sarah Boving, who has made some of her own. You can see these ones are a bit more Minecrafty, fit in more with the modern Minecraft aesthetic, while Zetter Strands fit in with the alpha aesthetic and how abstract it is. Versus the real life versions, these have had a couple small changes, whether they be changing things from Minecraft elements or things I'm not going to talk about. Well, you can see some of these are different shapes. We have 3x4s and 3x3s now which is a welcome addition to the painting collection. Along with this, there are more than one 2x4. There is not five of them, thanks to Zedra Strand. And you can see all these are, might not fit in that well, but they're a welcome addition, considering paintings already look a little clashing with the existing game style. Here at the Trial Chamber's entrance, although this door doesn't lead anywhere and the maps don't even lead to this section, well, we have ourselves new variations. The plant that might spawn here can vary. Originally, it was an oak tree. Then, it was an oak tree with different leaves. Now, it can be several different things. It can be a cactus, saving you a trip to the desert. It can be a mangrove tree, which can save you a trip from uh, the mangrove swamp. We all know how hard it can be to find certain biomes sometimes. And then, there have generally been a few changes here and there with the structure. There's a bogged face, uses white concrete, the first time concrete's used in a structure. A couple other minor changes, a lot of them you're not really going to notice though. And you can see, generated several in a row, but the structure more or less is done. A couple small problems, such as the four not generating, but otherwise, what you're seeing here is more or less the final version which means I'd recommend playing it. There's some cool variations. Sometimes you'll even see a vertical room, and who knows how that might play out, especially if you're chased down by mobs from the main corridors. 
And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Either way, enjoy the rest of your day. Comment your opinions on the paintings and music discs below. Gearsaw out. Thank you.